This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Yeah, obviously that was a really good win for our team, especially the way it finished up in Tuscaloosa and not swinging the bats at all. And then getting down today like we did 6 nothing. I mean, very rarely does a team get five hits in a row, and they did. Um, I think we got the first out in the second. And, uh, you know, they got five hits in a row. One of them left the yard. And, you know, the last one or the one that, you know, was four to four to nothing. You're thinking, okay, dead runner second and third. And that wind pushed that ball down on a right fielder. Down six was tough. But, uh, you know, then it was seven. Then it was seven one. And, you know, we just kept saying, if we could just punch in three runs somehow, hit a home run, find a way to get – get it back to seven to four, you know, put a little pressure on them. And, you know, when behavior dropped that ball down the left field line, we knew that that the left fielder was way over in the alley, that that was going to be trouble. The shortstop almost made that play. And then obviously, uh, you know, Ben McLaughlin had a tremendous at bat, went to full and then caught him a fastball and just hit it opposite field with that slicing wind. And we knew it was gone and left the bat. That was just a big swing. Uh, there were there were plenty of those, but uh, just proud of our guys, man. They rallied and just kept going, and you know, found found a way to win against a, a team that can really hit. And uh, you know, we got our hands full again tomorrow. Coach, you guys had seven. Both teams had seven hits with runners on. Just you know, your overall thoughts on just the performance of the plate, and to not only have them have the six run inning, but you guys also countered with the six run inning of your own. I mean, it's really rare to have a six run inning, but to have each team have one and the team that got their second ended up winning the game. It's kind of a uh, unusual, but uh, a lot of clutch hits, a lot of two out hits. Um, you know, we only put them on, I think maybe one walk and, and maybe one hit by a pitch. And, you know, they, they did the rest themselves. And uh, so they, you know, we really didn't give them anything. They just, they just got after Bybee. I mean, bottom line, they they hit everything he threw in the second inning. Yeah, so, you know, after Bybee, you guys kind of piece it together. 14 strikeouts for your pitching staff tonight. I just, you know, the guys after Bybee, just the way that they were able to piece it together and win it. Yeah, I mean, the guys we threw tonight are guys that we weren't going to throw tomorrow, no matter what. I mean, if we had a loss today, we were going to probably throw these guys a little bit because we need some guys for Friday, obviously, and Saturday. But... Uh, you know, that's what I told the the team out there. The, the bullpen was amazing tonight, and they just did a great job. Everyone we brought in there, and I mean, Park, Parker Crow came in and got the two lefties, and ended up getting the right hander. And you know, he was he was good to go. But we were trying to get him rocked and get him going a little bit and get his confidence up. And thought, well, let maybe Will can give us a couple. If we can get the lead. Maybe we can go to Gack. Or we'll, Will gave us. One and a third, and his pitch count was getting up a little bit. We need to have him available. Uh, he didn't He didn't lose his stuff. I mean, the guy jumped his first pitch, left it in a little bit, hit it low, below the wind, and got it out of the park. And, uh, and then Gacko came in, and he was he was pretty pretty darn good. And uh, through 24 pitches, and we were, you know, we were trying to figure out if we were going to bring him back out if we went to the 10th. And I think we had kind of agreed to bring him back out, but maybe not let him – go very long to see how it goes because we need him on the weekend you know we could we could use him as early as friday so uh but a really good job by everybody that came out of the bullpen today it was really good to see coach you said uh how good this team has been uh punching back and with down seven to one going to the bottom of the fifth what was the energy like uh after ben mclaughlin's uh two-run homer and of course the uh uh rbi sink rbi double by white to tie the yeah. game i mean after the home run i think the the, the dugout was good, even when we were kind of getting it handed to us, honestly. I mean, we didn't feel like that the game was over. We still had five at-bats or something to go. And uh, But when, when when Ben, right when he hit it, we all knew it was gone. Just because of the way with that crosswind, left-handed hitter slicing it. Would have been out anyway. But with the wind, we knew it was going to go way out. And, uh, yeah, the dugout, it lit up the dugout pretty good. And then we got the double and tied it. You know, we're thinking we're going to get another hit and take the lead because that's just kind of the way it flows in the dugout. And um, but uh, you know, you got to give 
Jason Jones, some credit, he had a really big night. He had a line drive off the center field wall against a 20 mile an hour wind. And then he's trying to call timeout and uh, got his hand up and the pitcher kind of quick pitched. Most of you have your eyes. I think he was really trying to call timeout. He just really wasn't ready yet. And he was kind of like, bang, guy throws him a slider. He had a little, little rhythm going there and just hammered it. And uh, that ended up being the tie and run. And, uh, but he hit two doubles tonight for us. That was big. In the bottom of the ninth, uh, their last pitcher, Parker, he he came in with a 0.44 ERA and then throws up and give then two errors were committed to set up the walk off. Yeah. Uh, just uh, what were your thoughts on just those two big plays that set it up? Yeah. The, you know, the ball to the third baseman, it, it, it took a, it hopped over his glove. You know, we have a perfect view of it. He was going to the ball and it hit something. I don't even know. He might've got a little leather on it, I guess, but it took a bad hop. So, you know, I guess you scored in there, but it was, a, it was a bad hop. And, uh, but, but, but the one that got him was, you know, it looked like he didn't feel the ball immediately turn to throw to second to try to turn double plays. That could have been a double play. Like he was going to go run the ball or throw the ball to first base and realize I need to throw the second base, kind of slipped through the ball. And, and there you go. And I mean, that's, that's a recipe for disaster. And, uh, you know, we kind of saw that in our game too at Alabama and, uh, it's uh, the game can be really fragile, especially at the end. A little, every little thing matters, especially when it's down there, when it's over, you know, if you score. And uh, we we did just enough that inning to, to punch in a run. You've been saying for a lot of games now that you think the offense is coming. Uh, I know that these weren't necessarily all the players that you use on a weekend, but did, do you feel like maybe you overcame a hurdle or something tonight offensively? I, I, I think. Uh, Obviously, I, I think some guys gained some confidence, and um, I thought I thought Peyton Holt swung the bat really well. You know, his last at bat, I think was that in the ninth. You know, he'd like to, or the or the eighth, he'd like to have that one back. The the slider he swung at that would have made it a full count. But other than that, I thought he had a really good game, and, and some of the guys have just been swinging it a little bit. You know, it's good to see Wagner. You know, got a couple big hits, and you know, I really didn't want to pinch hit for him, but the the numbers told me to. I mean. Righters are hitting like, I don't know, 120 against them, and lefties are hitting 300 or 350. And and uh, I'm glad Sousa got enough of that ball to get it to the outfield. Honestly, if the wind hadn't been blowing in, it might have went out of the park. And that thing got up there so high and started coming back. But, uh, yeah, I think we gained a lot of confidence. And um, a couple of guys stepped up. Even Wilmsmeyer put him in. He he got a great jump on that ball, got a great read and ran it down and uh, just – you know, a lot of guys contributed to the win tonight. It was it was good to see. They were out hitting you ten to two through three and a half innings. The rest of the game, your guys were hot. Theirs got shut down. What was the key? I don't know. You know, just maybe just relaxing a little bit. You know, we hit a couple balls on the nose in the first inning, and maybe one or two in the third inning, and they just went right at people. And kind of had that happen a little bit to us on Sunday in, in Tuscaloosa, and. And then things started just going our way a little bit. You know, we got some big hits and took a walk here and there. And, you know, we we, we scored that first run. But, you know, you think about it, we hit into two double plays, one with first and second, one out, one with the bases loaded, and one out. And we're getting ready to score runs. We still scored that many runs. If we could have stayed out of the double plays, we probably would have scored another three or four runs early. Coach, get there. Bottom of the ninth, bases loaded. And uh, you turned to Nolan Souza there. Can you maybe talk about your confidence turning into a true freshman there and his mentality? Yeah, he's you know he's got a really good approach at the plate, and he was a little bit out front of the the first breaking ball. And I thought after that he did a great job in the bat. Even with down 0-2, he tried to sneak fastball by him at 90, 91, 92, whatever it was, and he didn't bite, he didn't swing, and then uh, I think he fouled the pitch off, and then he got the sack fly, but. You know, he's he's got like what 60, 70 bats now. And to me, I don't see him, I don't look at him as a freshman. I look at him as just a good hitter. And uh I have I have a lot of confidence in him. And then uh it's a Tuesday night and you had to go to your bullpen in the second inning. Can you sort of touch on the importance of having the pitching depth that you do yeah. in well, a week shootout like this? Well, we wouldn't be sitting here with a smile on our face if we didn't have that depth, that's for sure. And you know, like I said earlier, we threw the guys that we were planning on throwing. Uh, like if we didn't, 
if we didn't throw McIntyre tonight or, or, or Gackle tonight and probably even Gage, maybe Coyle would have gone either day, uh, they wouldn't throw tomorrow because um, we got to get them ready for Friday, possibly Saturday. So it was just a great job by the bullpen. We had a couple other guys out there that we have confidence in, too, if the game would have continued on. Today, I guess. What's the importance of just having somebody like that that's played, you know, left, center, right, just all within the past couple of weeks along with infield? Well, it's very, it's huge, you know. It's, at any level of baseball, if you've got a guy that can play multi-positions and can swing the bat, you know, he can give a guy a rest, he can start at a position, move around, move around in the game when you make changes. I mean, even the big leagues have a utility player. And a lot of times that guy can play left or right field and all the infield positions. And it's uh, it's it's really valuable. But Peyton's been swinging the bat really well, and I wanted to get him in the game again. He deserved to play tonight, trying to figure out how to just to get some more offense, create some offense. And he, he did that for us over the weekend when other guys weren't. And uh, I thought he did it again tonight. Coach, I guess with Diggs, is is he hurt or what? Yeah, he's on? got a – his – uh. His non-throwing shoulder has been bothering him a lot longer than we knew. Let's put it that way. Um, he'll be ready for the weekend. He just had some swelling in there. And uh, just give him some anti-inflammatories, let him calm down this week, not swing the bat for a while. And they said he should be good to go by Thursday, probably at our practice down in South Carolina. So, uh, you know, I appreciate his effort. He tried to tough it out. and but it, But it's been bugging him. And you could kind of tell that, on certain swings, it was bothering him. So we just want to get him 100%. If he's not 100% by Friday, I won't play him. And have you decided on a starter for tomorrow? Yeah, uh, we'll go with the big, the big fish. <laughs> when you were in here last Wednesday, you said that uh, Hunter Dietz was going to have an MRI that night. Do you have an update on him? Yeah, it's good right now. Everything we've seen, it's good. Just had some swelling, and uh, you know, we've had we've had many doctors look at it. So. You know, we'll just take it week by week and see if we can get him back, get him going in the next couple of weeks, unless something crazy happens or some gets read differently by a different doctor. But we've had a few doctors look at it. Do you think it's safe to say he won't pitch this week? Um, I, he won't pitch this week, no. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.